So should we ventilate or should we let the patient breathe spontaneously? The advantages of uh, mechanical ventilation is it's very easy to control the minute ventilation with mechanical ventilation. You just adjust the tidal volume or adjust the rate. Very easy to do. But then on the other hand, spontaneous ventilation requires no instrumentation of the patient's airway. You don't have to intubate them. Spontaneous ventilation allows the patient to set their own ventilatory pattern, which is often perfectly okay, but in the presence of many drugs or other disease processes that may be going on, it's not always the best, uh, the best model to follow. In either case, constant monitoring of breathing and expired carbon dioxide plus the patient's oxygen saturation is necessary with all general anesthesia so that mechanical versus spontaneous uh, ventilation is usually determined by the expected length of the surgery, the patient's position during the surgery, and the need or lack of need for muscle relaxation during the surgery. Some of the cons of uh, managing ventilation with a ventilator are it's very easy to overventilate the patient. And this can cause a decrease in carbon dioxide in the blood, which causes a condition known as respiratory alkalosis. This again is generally not terribly important, but it's not something you want to allow to exist for any extended period of time. In addition, if you're going to mechanically ventilate a patient, you must in instrument their airway. And there are always risks that you won't be able to do the instrumentation, won't be able to get the endotracheal tube in, or that in your struggle to get it in, you may damage the airway and cause the patient not only difficulties during the surgery, but difficulties subsequent to surgery. Spontaneous ventilation, on the other hand, is often associated with a rise in the carbon dioxide and the development of respiratory acidosis. This is well tolerated at moderate levels and is well tolerated for short periods of time, particularly in healthy and younger patients, but may be a critical mistake in elderly patients with unstable cardiac uh, disease.